Mike, people can see well, probably think you said yes right away when you were offered a chance with a stem cell operation to get your sight back. But you told me it was a very hard decision to make. Can you tell me why? Well, I can only provide people my context. And my context was in making this decision almost exactly 10 years ago, I had to make this decision. Am I going to have this operation? What will it buy me if it works? What are the downsides if it doesn't work? And there were many more things that were downside than the upside. There was a lot of medical expense. There were uh, problems with the immune suppressant drugs, which could increase the likelihood of cancer. Uh, there was a lot of uh, emotional, psychological things that could happen based on the history of people with vision restoration, uh, the, the trend really is for depression, even in severe cases, suicide. So you look at all of that and you say, why would I possibly want to get my vision back after being blind for a long time when I'm well adjusted? Life is great. What's the advantage of seeing? In the end, I made the decision because I was curious. And I said, I'm, I'm confident in myself. I'm happy as a blind person, so if I gain something, great. If I don't, nothing lost. That's a great attitude to have, Mike, but not everybody's like you. What advice would you give to the parents who want to take their blind or visually impaired children to China for a stem cell operation? The main thing for people to think about when they're going to get an operation in China is what happens if it doesn't work? Am I, am I good with the way life is right now? Am I well-adjusted as a blind person? Because chances are the operation will help them anywhere from not at all to a little bit to maybe a medium amount. But it's not going to all of a sudden switch them from being totally blind to perfectly sighted, able to read print and drive a car. And therefore, will they be more disappointed by the small amount of benefit that they get than they would have been if they just not gone through the hassle to begin with. And that's an important question to ask. It's very important that the family and loved ones do not push somebody into this situation. If it's, if it's a child, you don't want that child to be uh, growing up with the feeling that there's something broken about them because they're blind. Yes, that's a very important point for parents to know. Mike, how's the quality of your site now? 10 years after your operation? Seeing is much more complicated than just you're fully sighted, partially sighted, or totally blind. In my case, I can see motion, so things that are moving I can see well. I can see colors well. I cannot see detail, such as a person's face or depth perception or print. Those detailed things I can't see very well at all. So my visual cortex, over 43 years of not being used, uh, really uh, d diminished and, and, well, didn't fully develop to begin with, and then diminished in some areas but not in others. And so this accounts for my rather odd form of seeing, which is, uh, I call myself a hybrid because I, I use a dog, a seeing eye dog. I have a, a cane when I don't use the dog. So I'm walking around as a blind person, using Braille, using a dog, but in fact I can see some. I can recognize a color or see colors nearly as good as a fully sighted person. I can run and catch a ball in the air. I wouldn't see if there was a hole in the ground I might step into when I'm chasing that ball, but the fact is I can see the ball, I can reach out and grab it because of the motion factor. So that's a, a summary of, of my rather odd and unique hybrid visual situation. I'm sure it's a hybrid situation many blind people would love to have. Through all of this, Mike, what was the greatest revelation for you in seeing again after 43 years of darkness? Well, I think the, the greatest revelation for me was that the sight was was an interesting thing, but it wasn't a life-changing thing. It was life-enriching. enriching. And so I was really astounded that it, uh, it wasn't that big a deal. 
because when you think of vision restoration, uh, you think of of the Bible, and it's I mean, it's, it's of biblical proportions, and it should be huge, and it's not. It's just interesting, but it didn't really change my way to navigate through life all that much. If I could have driven a car or read a book perfectly, well, yeah, then maybe that would have been helpful. But I do all those things. I get where I want to go. Uh, I probably travel more worldwide than most sighted people who can drive a car. So, uh, you know, what, what's the big deal? Mike, thank you very much for sharing your experiences with me. For those of you who are watching and want to know more about Mike May's incredible life, please visit our website at lauraandwagner.com.